Wow, that ring light is something else. Uh -uh. <laughs> hey guys, Sophia here for my great challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel and episode 7, I think, of my master bedroom makeover. We're still doing the closet. It's Sunday morning. We're well, actually lying. It's Sunday afternoon. Um, I'm going to install the shelves today. So before I do that, as always, I'm going to chit chat a little bit. Uh, yes, yeah, Scott got me a ring light <laughs> for Christmas. And this is why you can now see every single flaw on my skin. Yay! <laughs> it's, uh, it's to help me work uh, in the evening because in the winter I can't see anything. Um, and then it's the light on camera change. It turns to yellow. It's a whole, it's a whole issue. Uh, so I had asked for a ring light um, for Christmas and that's what I got. So anyway, neither here nor there. I'm installing the shelves and I've uh, changed plans a little bit. I was thinking about this little cubby uh, that I made and um, it's perfect for baskets and stuff in it, which means that um, it's freeing up a whole bunch of space where I was going to put things on shelves. Um, you know, I had planned on putting the unmentionables in baskets on the shelf that was at the bottom or put some kind of thing with drawer, pull out drawers, and it's it's really taking too much space, but if I put those in those cubbies, that would be perfect. So that frees up the space at the bottom of the closet. So I was discussing that idea uh, with mom today, and she said, well, why don't you put two hanging uh, racks, one on top of the other? and flush them to the right side. That way I have a hanging rack on top, a hanging rack at the bottom, and maybe I have a space for a really, really low shelf at the bottom to put, you know, stuff that I don't use often or maybe some shoes or whatever, but I think I'm gonna try to figure out something else for shoes because I don't really want my shoes in my closet. Um, not that there's no ventilation, because remember I have a big hole in the back of the cubby and I'm gonna put two vents here on the right side, well, left side really um, so that this air flow and I discussed that in one of the comments somebody was asking about that um, and I responded that there's a tendency to seal every crack in a house and really you don't want to do that especially in the attic because the air the hot air goes up the roof has actually uh, an opening I forgot the name of it but the roof has an actual opening on top of it so that the air can escape um, but in the attic, and by the way, it's 15 degrees outside right now, and I just went in the attic to pull out the suitcase and the doors to the uh, old closet, and it's not cold at all in there, um, because we had, and that was a question too that was asked, when we did the insulation for the house, I had the guys come in, and they did the holes in the floors of the attic, and I had insulation blown into uh, that floor. So the whole attic is insulated now, which is great. Um, but you still want to keep some kind of correct pressure in your house and you have to, in order to have that, you need to have um, circulation of air. You can't just contain and seal stuff because then it builds pressure, especially in attics. Um, so yes, there is ventilation, there's uh, airflow coming from underneath that cubby there's a hole behind my uh, two pair of boots where air is coming through and then this here, um, the ventilation on the bottom here is going to allow for more air to come through so there will be some circulation. I'm not sealing everything. Um, but anyway, the idea now that I have is to put two sets of shelves, maybe three, one at the bottom, a couple of inches above the floor to put shoes or something and then maybe I could put stuff underneath it. Um, I'm trying to maximize the space. It's not large, I'll say it again, it's 51 by 24. It's not a huge closet but I tell you what, it's definitely better than what I have now. Uh, so yeah for DIY and on the subject of DIY, I'm going to put them on tracks by the way. Scott and I just came back from um, I should have some kind of discount there at this point at <laughs> the Home Depot. We'll be sponsored by them, Home Depot. Come on now. I talk about you guys all the time. Um, and on the way back, we stopped by a open house. 
that's in our neighborhood and because I like doing that. I just want to see how they did certain things. So this one was great because it had uh, bifold doors, so I was able to observe the mechanical of that. But there was a lot of DIY projects in that house and um, you could tell, you know, they were DIY. Some of them were really good, some of them not so good. But it just gave me another sense of, you know, um, confidence that I, I can do this. I don't need to hire contractors for everything, especially for something like that. Um, anyway, I, it's just my little chit chat. I just want to let you know uh, that you can do things yourselves. And I say that every single time. There was a time back in the days where people were doing everything themselves. Uh, I don't know if you remember that. If you're old enough, you remember that. And where I come from in France, most people outside of the big cities do everything themselves too. So this is not a strange idea and not everything has to be perfect. You know, I mean, I'm sure you remember some of you, grandpa who built his own toolbox, you know, uh, or a tool shed somewhere in the old garage and it's all, you know, wonky, but that was his tool shed and he loved it. Um, so I'm gonna love my closet. I will. Let's get started. I have three of those to install. They're going to come with, where's my bag? Special brackets and they're going to hold these shelves. And I bought additional um, brackets, by the way. And those shelves uh, will carry 10 pounds per square foot. So. 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, about 30 pounds. <laughs> yeah, my clothes are not that heavy, all right? So, but these are special for books, so obviously they are pretty good. And then I got these uh, special anchors and screws for drywall because this wall is a drywall. And those will carry up to 175 pounds. These are the kind of stuff you want to pay attention to. And then the other thing you want to make sure uh, when you get screws and uh, all of that good stuff is that your screws actually do fit um, the hole for those. I know that by experience because uh, I once installed those in a Brooklyn apartment and the screws were too big. <laughs> we couldn't fit them in. Um, anyway, that's how you learn by making mistakes. What else did I get? Uh, I got drywall screws and uh, the wall base adhesive. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get to drywall. Now for the drywall or sheetrock, whatever you want to call it, I had to, uh, I'm going to have to order it online and have it delivered because the big sheet doesn't fit in my car and I don't want to put it on top of the car. Um, for various reasons. I'm afraid it's gonna break, um, you know, if you put it with tension or whatever. So what I did was buy pieces that are smaller, that are supposed to be for patches, and they are perfect for uh, this side here. Uh, I don't think they are good for that side here. If they are, I'll just put one on top of the other. I have to measure, basically. If not, I'll order one online, okay? All right. Enough chit chat, uh, let's do this. And you know, it's true, uh, some of you mentioned that in the comment section that sometimes professionals don't even do a good job. Uh, if you look at my basement downstairs, it was done professionally, uh, the sheet rock and all of that, but there's areas where they didn't even cut it properly. It's like, you know, you can see where they took that hand tool and cut it, and it's not, it's not well done. It's like there's holes, there's gaps, whatever. Um, so if you have somebody come over to your house and you're going to pay them top dollar, uh, make sure they do a good job. Shells. The idea is three. One on top. As far high as I can. It's going to be right here. And it's still going to leave me a foot 
worth of space on top. Clothes are going to be hanging up to here. Then I'm going to put another one right here, same size. And that one is going to have clothes hanging from it too. So when you open the closet, there's going to be two rows of hanging clothes. Here, I can still put baskets, you know, if I want to put um, the, the shallow baskets that people put in their drawers. You know, if I want to uh, uh, have compartments with, again, the unmentionables and all of this stuff, right? And all the way at the bottom, I'm going to add another one. I'm probably not going to put anything, but it's mostly to stash stuff behind the clothes or whatever and keep it off the ground. So I don't know if you can see, but let's just say I put this shelf here, right? It gives me all this space before I get to my uh, cubby. So when I come in, I can still get to my cubby. I can still get stuff. It's not in the way. I don't have to move anything. Uh, so that's the plan. I have to see if the third one really makes sense. Uh, probably not. We'll see. So first things first, I got to measure. Um, I bought three rods. Two hopefully gets into the studs. And one is going to be in the shit rock with those uh, special uh, anchors. And of course, I don't have a stud finder. I know this one here, so if it's 16 on center, there should be one just about here. That's the old fashioned trick. Maybe you did 24. 24 would be here. There's definitely one here. So there's one here. Let's see if it did 16, the next one should be here. No. So if it did 24, the next one is here. Yeah, all right, this is 24 center. So uh, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them. Um, what do we do 24 here? This is a, a, a wall with a, uh, tiles behind it. Why not do 16? Mine are 12. Whatever. Hey, I'm sidetracked again. I just got, because I'm always looking at uh, comments, okay? Uh, and I got a comment from Melanie S. And she said, I really have enjoyed watching this series. I've been cheering you on silently so far. Please don't be silent. If you got something to say, say it. Uh, she, the thermostat battery was driving her crazy. She, uh, she says I was right. But that's the best part. She says, as a carpenter slash cabinet maker, I appreciate the glue you use. Many people don't understand the glue really holds the project together. The nails just holds it until the glue dries. Great job on this unit. It turned out amazing. So I'll tell you what, if I have a carpenter who tells me I'm doing a good job, I'm going to continue to do it. <laughs> That's the best validation I could ask for for today. Um, thank you, Melanie. I really appreciate that. I try my best, okay? And I'm learning. I'm learning. All right. Um, forget me finding the studs. I got those 175 pounds, uh, whatchamacallit, screw thing anchors. That's going to be enough. So what I need to do is mark uh, where I want those. And they have to all match with regards to those notches okay so say I put one here well first of all I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the shelf <sighs> let me get a pen so this shelf is going to go the highest it can fit right here but need to be leveled. Oh, it's totally not leveled. You probably can see that from there. So I'm going to move it this way. Okay, this is the highest. This can go and 
Is it level? No, no, no. Yes. Yep, all right. That's right, I just marked my wall. Can you see my mark right here? Okay. So for now, instead of putting it this way uh, and I can't mark anything, I'm going to put them this way. So as I was saying, um, instead of going this way and then I can't really go through, I turn it the other way. All right. And then the third one's going to go here. And again, I'm starting it at the second. So this is the first hole. I want to make sure this is leveled, which it is. So I got a hole here and here and here. And you know, to me, it's a little disappointing that these only have three holes. But again, my anchors support up to 175 pounds, um, which means that I can't stand on the shelf. Okay, if you ever have to install drywall, I gotta tell you, these are awesome. I'm gonna show you how they work. You don't even need a drill. Um, you just need a specific size, uh, either Phillips screw driver or a flathead. And what you do, man, this was easy. <laughs> that you're gonna directly put that on your wall and then you're going to insert your screwdriver in it and this is self-tapping and so basically you turn and it's going to go straight into your wall all right so you put it flush to the wall then when you're ready to install your bar once you put the screw in there i'm going to um mess up this one on purpose to show you i get i get all excited when i uh, <laughs> discover something all right so you're going to put the screw in and so once you put your screw inside and the screw goes all the way in this blue part here pokes out like a butterfly wing you can see it right here. Let me show you the back. See that? So it opens up that way. So the screw activates uh, the blue part to spread open. And once it's spread open, it can't pull out of the wall because it's basically holding it. So that's a special a screw thing for um, drywall. But now watch how easy it is to put in the wall. You don't even need a drill and special bits you just go ahead with your screwdriver and that's it and that's of course assuming that there's no stud behind this which i don't think there is so you just put that right where your mark is you press a little bit and it's going right in That's it. So when I put the screw in with the bars in front of it, it's going to open in the back of it and it's going to hold it and stop it from poking out or, uh, um, you know, pulling out of the uh, shit rock. Those screws that came with it are perfect if you have something that's flushed. But you see this is raised, and it's raised by about a half an inch. So, what you need to do is compensate for that and get longer screws. Because those screws are not going to be able to go all the way inside that particular uh, anchor because this is stealing from the size of it. So, thankfully, I have Servalite uh, Phillips pan head tapping screws that are two and a half inches and these are one inch and three quarters okay so 
it makes a huge difference. So if you're going to do the same thing that I'm doing, using those anchors for these particular wall brackets, um, get longer screws. Those again are two inches. That's if you don't want the stuff to fall, you know? So you're gonna know that it's actually grabbing those blue things because it gets harder. You keep going. And I don't know if you saw, but this part here got pushed into the wall. That tells me that I grabbed it. This is not going anywhere. It's a good thing I didn't uh, put walls on this closet yet, because you wouldn't be able to see anything. There we go. I'm going to start with the middle one right here. Let's see if it's easier with the drill. I'm gonna go slow. Shelf number one. Okay. And then, uh, where's my level? There you go. All right. Uh, it's pretty good. So this is one of my uh, long sweater. Okay. So if I put it here, it's telling me how low I can go with the next shelf. Uh, or what I could do is put all the long stuff at the bottom and the short stuff on top. I gotta think about that. It's easy to remove. I just gotta remove the uh, uh, things here. Uh, some people hang their clothes right here on the uh, outside. You can do that. Uh, some people get those things. Where they are? Uh, those I have left over from when I did the laundry. Uh, you put them in here like that and then you anchor them and then you put your bar here which is not a bad idea but the problem with those to me is that it really uh you lose a good six seven inches uh it lowers everything so i'm not going to do that i will uh hang my clothes either directly on the front here i still have room okay or oh, i'll well, uh, put them at the uh can i do this one yeah, I'll do it at the one that's right behind it. Um, I always keep my hangers in the closet anyway, so that's not a big deal. And I can put two per. So I gotta think, do I want the short on top and the long at the bottom, or do I want to do the other way around? Um, let's find something short. Okay, so this is supposed to be shorter because that's a um, work shirt. Okay, so short would be here. I think I'm going to keep the short on top and the long at the bottom. So if I do the long at the bottom, so if I do that, that means that the next shelf should be right about here. All right. Knowing me, there's going to be a mix of long and short within two weeks anyway, because I don't follow any of my own rules. One, two, all right, so let's see. One here, 
one here. So it's starting to get a little difficult to maneuver here um, to show you. But anyway, this is the middle one. And we're pretty much at the same level than the other one. But I wanted to show you. Say, for instance, uh, I have clothes all the way up to here. Ah, that's the wrong hanger. Make it this hanger instead. Right? Let's say I got clothes all the way up to here. Okay? When I walk into my closet, uh, I can easily move my stuff right here. You see that? To get to my stuff right here. That's not a problem. And then I can have boxes here. Put the shorter stuff and then box on top. Okay. So I'm not putting my clothes in here yet. Obviously, because we still have to shit rock and all of this stuff. So these anchors here are really flat. Okay, there's nothing holding the shelf. I can move the shelf up and down. But these here have a hook on them. I don't know if you see that. And what they're doing is that they're creating tension. You see how this is locked in place over there? So that the shelf doesn't move. So I need to find those anchors, um, or brackets rather, and use those instead. This one cannot get in it because it's stuck on the wall here, but that's all right. By the way, I moved it up. Uh, I moved it up a little bit. So let's see how much stuff I can put on top here. Okay, here goes. So, aha, my Michael Kors. I can put my Speedy. I can put my Donna Karen right here. Is that perfect or what? And, how about this one? This is... can't remember. But it's so 80s. I love it. Okay, and I can put this one. And I still have some room uh, for more bags. So how about that? Instead of having them on the floor in my uh, bedroom, I have those on top. Yeah. Oh, I have a real closet. How about that? I have a real closet. Alright, so it's not going to be like I can move things around, okay? Because these, if I put them, they're not on the bar. Uh, you know what? What happens if I put them on the outside? Yeah, I can still close the door. Alright, so I'll put them on the outside. Um, and then I can put stuff on the shelf right here in addition. This is great. Okay, so I know that some of you have, were having a hard time trying to figure out how is this going to be a closet, okay? This is how it's going to be a closet. All right, you get the idea. This is not touching the floor. It's at the perfect height. I can actually go like this a little bit here because it's a different bar than the one that's on top. Um, but I'm gonna have all my clothes, finally, in a real closet. And yeah, and then over there, I'll just, uh, again, if this is in the front, and I may not even put clothes, I may stop here, right? I may stop here, so I just have to go like this and grab my stuff. I don't even have to put clothes all the way up to here because the goal, you remember when I did the um, declutter and I talked about I'm looking at a capsule? That's the only way to have it is to uh, uh, really uh, pare down what I have. Okay, so now I have space here. What am I going to do? Nothing. I have those shelves here. Forget about the idea of putting the uh, jewelry box. I may put it here instead. But I have shelves here, so what I can do is buy one of those shoe rack things. Or I put the shoe rack here. Or I just... Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But wow. Okay. It gives you an idea how much I can fit in there, right? Because I'm able to do... Um, and again, I don't have to do one per, I can do two, all right? I can make it even um, 
that's the wrong hanger, that's the plastic hanger. But I can even do three like this. So I can hang quite a lot of clothes. I don't think I'm going to be able to put anything on the shelf. I may, I don't know, I will see. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But I have two hanging things. And I can put my purse on top. Mission accomplished. That's all I gotta say. All right. <sighs> so, um, let's chit chat. It's starting to look like a closet. Um, two rows. I measured from uh, with the tape measure the amount of space I take on the other side. And it's basically one row. Granted, they packed, okay, but it's basically one row. So, um, what I need to figure out where to put it is the stuff that's in the dresser. And the stuff that's in the dresser is mostly t-shirts which can be hung and don't take a lot of room. Uh, they can also be rolled, folded, whatever. Uh, leggings and pants that can be on those special hangers that have bars I don't know if you've seen those they're basically space saver hangers for pants so you just fold all your pants on it it takes about this much room and you can put five pair of pants on it so I can do that same thing with jeans uh, I can hang my jeans uh, leggings they don't really need to be hung I can have them uh, folded so this side here, the little cubby is basically going to be for um, undergarments and leggings and socks. That's it. Um, you know, or I can use it for t-shirts and then hang on here one of those uh, shelving that hangs. But they usually lose this, this shape. Um, the ones that I've bought in the past, granted I'm cheap, so I bought the cheapest kind possible, weren't really... Uh, sturdy after a while they started sagging um, but we'll see but there's a ton of stuff that you can put in your closet if you don't have a lot of room uh, from slimmer um, hangers which obviously I have to invest in I'm still using the ones that were sent to me um, I think you've seen a couple of them up there but the problem is that we have so many different hangers in this house I think that what I'm going to do is buy slim hangers or color coordinated um, I know for a fact that, that none of the men in the house will put their clothes on a pink hanger so I'm gonna get pink hangers <laughs> for my closet and everybody will know that those are mom's hangers um, so I'll have some downstairs in the laundry room mostly here and what else there's a ton of stuff. There's uh, box, there's uh, cascading hangers, there's special clips, there's, there's a lot of things that you can do if your closet is not that big, which is the case with this one. I never said it was going to be a walk-in closet, you know, obviously walk-in closet space in this house is, I don't know where. I don't know where I could fit a walk-in closet. Again, that was the reason why I had the idea of doing uh, a closet that would go further into the room and you walk through it to get to the bathroom that was the only way to get a walk-in closet but as we know that idea was shelved um so this is what i'm stuck with and i like it i think i can work with this one it's gonna force me to seriously um peer down my article of clothing uh do a capsule type wardrobe uh, my work clothes like stuff like this that I wear when I do um, you know project Scott is gonna have so much room in his closet available and remember there's an other row in the back of that closet I can use that for seasons so once the season is over basically all of the sweaters and stuff can go in the back of that closet and then I bring in just the summer stuff which is really not a lot for me um, so you know you can work around it is all I'm trying to tell you this is similar to closets that I had when I was a kid um, you know Europeans we don't have really big closets I don't even think they have walk-in closet maybe now but when I was a kid that's not something that people had like you know his and hers type closet uh, so this is just what I need I don't need anything else
okay? Um, it may not be what you need <laughs> or what you want, but this is what I need and what I wanted. So it works for me. That's all I have to say. It works for me. Okay, so that would be it for this um, episode. I'm going to say goodbye. Again, I thank you all for cheering me on on this uh, uh, mission. This is probably going to be the longest series I've ever done on YouTube because I'm redoing the entire bedroom. We're going to go through everything, okay? So, it's and I said my deadline is going to... It's snowing. I'm just looking at squirrel. <laughs> it's actually snowing. I think it's storm icy we're getting, and we're in the area where we're only going to get two inches, so that's okay. Um... I want to show the whole experience of redoing this bedroom because you guys have been with me for so long. You know how horrendous my bedroom is. I have zero pride in it. Absolutely zero pride. It's We might as well just have moved in as students. It has no glamour, nothing. <laughs> it's got nothing, not to mention the green carpet. So this whole bedroom is getting redone. As I mentioned in the last video, the one previously, uh, once Scott's dresser is out of the way, I am building a corner bookcase over there in that corner. My bike will go right here where the balcony is. And the reason why I'm doing the bookcase over there is because of the skylight. Um, so the green chair may end up here. It will be changed in color. But you know you can paint velvet. Um, so it's going to be painted probably in dark blue after I thoroughly clean it with my uh, carpet cleaner because it does have a upholstery attachment. Uh, so there will be a little reading nook right here and then um, the bed is the bed that's you know it's gonna stay here so I gotta work around that but I'm thinking other ideas I'm thinking of pendant lights on either side of the bed rather than having um, lamps on the tables I'm definitely keeping my cart, um, my uh, glass cart, because I love it. And then it's uh, painting, wallpapering. I pulled out the old doors to the closet. They used to be uh, sliding doors. They're going to go back on. I removed them because I hated them, but it's not going to be my closet anymore, so Scott can deal with the sliding doors. I'll put them back up so the curtain will go. And then after that, it's painting and all of that. Um, the last thing will be the carpeting. That, again, I will contract. Uh, we still haven't decided what color. I prefer dark, but we may end up with a gray. I don't know. We'll see. So that's it. Um, don't let doubt stop you. I mean, what did I do? I installed shelves, not a big deal. Okay, I don't need any pad on the back for that. But don't let doubt stop you. Just do it. And you know what? If it doesn't work, what's the big deal? You know, really, what's the big deal? Um, I'm not changing the structure of the house. I'm not doing anything um, crazy. You know, I'm just building a closet. And I'm proud of myself um, because this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I got to be honest, I've hesitated because I was really, really concerned that you know, I was going to get a barrage of negative comments and I haven't. You guys have been wonderful about it and I really appreciate that because it keeps me going. So that's it. That's all I have to say. I am going to, it's 425. I'm going to edit a quilting video. You're going to see that probably Monday. Uh, so you've already seen that by the time you saw this video. And that would be it. Tomorrow I'm starting sheet rock. <laughs> we'll do the uh, small, you know, as I mentioned earlier, I bought the repair panels, really. Um, I haven't measured it. It's definitely fitting this side. So I may just do this side tomorrow. And then I'll get more and then I may do this side if they fit. If not, again, I'll have to, uh, maybe I'll just patch it, you know, do like a uh, patch, run the tape. Once I mud it, it'll disappear. You won't see it anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. That's just what I wanted. 
and need it. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner. Uh, check out my great challenge gift on Etsy for t-shirts and mugs and aprons and what else do we have? Um, tank top and hoodies and sweaters. Scott is actually working on new designs so that's going to come up soon. And then Frenchie and Tubby for vintage finds and at my great challenge on Instagram and Facebook. I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching guys. Bye. Hey, it's me and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.